In this video, I am going to show you how to encrypt strings using an encryption key. So, the encryption key is, is a combination of 10 numbers that represents the position of characters in each string. So, let me update a formula here. I am trying to encrypt this these names numbers. So, I will update the formula. I am using mid function. Text is this one, John. So, I am going to fix the column using f4 key start num so start num i will pass this array so that mid will work 10 times each time using values from this array so first it will apply 10 and print the value then it apply 4 and print the value and it applies 1 in the formula and then print the results and number of characters i want only one i'm listing out the characters from this string based on this array so let me press enter see so this is blank because 10 john string john's length is only 4 so 10th character of john is blank nothing is there fourth character of john is n first character of john is j there is no sixth character in john so 9 5 7 all are empty second character is o j o eighth is blank third character is h so i created an encrypted text but lot of spaces so i have to join this using text join so let me copy this formula so before that i will fix this by pressing f4 because the encryption key is at row number one so i'll copy this formula i'll update this formula then i'll apply a text join around this mid formula i'm going to say delimiter is default ignore empty is default then the text so i'll close the bracket so now the characters here it has joined and printed in one cell so now I'll copy this so each of these strings are encrypted using the key at row number one and the corresponding mid formula results are shown here so the formula is text join then using the mid using mid and text join we have encrypted this text so now i am going to send this encrypted text to another person so i am copying this going to decrypt page i am pasting this as values so the second person gets this encrypted text so his objective is to decrypt this encrypted string using the same key so i have pasted the same key which we had in the encrypt sheet same key is here so he will get this key from the sender using this key he has to decrypt these encrypted strings so for that so i will first type a formula because the length of this is four but we have 10th character any character position greater than the length of the encrypted string is a space that means there is no character at 10th position 9th position if the character length is the string length is 4 so i am going to create a formula for that so i am typing a formula equal to if the character position here i am going to fix this that fourth row if this is greater than length of this encrypted string fixing this using a 4 key if it is greater than length of this print 0 otherwise print one so i'm closing this enter so that is the formula in the first cell so i'm copying this formula to the second cell but here i will edit the formula so here it, instead of zero if n4 is greater than length of a5 instead of zero it, print the value from the previous cell previous cell is m5 and if it is less than or equal to the length of the string then print value from the previous cell plus one so one plus the value in the previous cell if the length is greater then print the same value as in the previous cell so so i am going to copy this formula so so the first character is in position 2 the first character in the original string now in the encrypted string is in position 2 see j the second character of the original string is in, currently in position 3 so o so like that that is the meaning of this result so wherever the sixth character is not there because the length is four characters so it will print the previous value nine it will print the previous value five there are only four characters it will print the previous value seven also is not there in first encrypted string and when the second character is there so it adds one to this two so we got this now I will update a, an x lookup formula here by passing lookup value is a sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to the length of the string. So I will use a sequence function. So starting at 1, 1 row, then end at 
lambda columns length of this string fix the so so here in this case there are four characters it will it will output an array 1 2 3 4 because there are four characters so that is the lookup value so one by one the values from this array will be passed to lookup function. So it is an array we are passing the lookup value. Now sequence I am closing, then comma. Now the lookup array. Lookup array. So sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That I am looking up in this key. So I am fixing this because it is fixed. Then I have to give the return array. Return array is this second one. And I am using. So let us see. So, so first character it searched in this array. So here is 1. And then it printed the return array value 2. So that means the first character is in second position in this encrypted string. Second character is in the third position. Third character is in the fourth position in the encrypted text. And fourth character is in the first position. So now I am going to use this these numbers to decrypt this encrypted string. I will type the formula here. Equal to mid. Type the formula here. Text is this one. Fix it using pressing F4. Start num. Start num is I am going to select this array. I am passing an array. So, this is an array formula. So, it will say C5. It starts at C5 and hash means it will pass the entire array. Number of characters is 1. So, that means from this array, it will pass the values 1 by 1 and apply it 4 times in mid function. So, first one will be dollar $A5, 2. Then, second character. The Then, third character will print. Then, fourth character will print. Then, first character. So, let us see the output. See? it printed John in the correct order. That means the characters it printed in the correct order based on this, which we derived from this and the key. Now, I have to join this using test joint. So, I will copy this formula. Copy this formula. I will apply a text join around this mid function. Delimiter is default. Ignore empty cells is default. And the text. Then I will close the bracket. So, now John is printed here. I will delete this. So, now from the encrypted text, I decrypted it to the original string. So now I will copy this formula down to decrypt other text. So and then copy this. So see, so this is decrypted to original text. This is decrypted to Musa, and this number decrypted number number. So this is how we decrypt the encrypted string. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on like button if you find the information I shared useful and update comments. Also, please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos which I will post in future.